Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another CD to play for you. Today's CD is Superman Story 4 from 1940. So let's get started. Presenting Superman. Up in the sky. Look, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. And now, Superman. When we last left Superman, he had arrived in Denver as Clark Kent, news reporter, to investigate a strange and deadly plot against the railroads of the West. He had been able to prevent the Continental Limited from being swept into a canyon by a rock slide. But now, the unknown force is directed against the Silver Clipper, crack train of the West Coast Railway. Mysterious messages have warned that the Clipper, due to leave Denver at sundown, will never arrive in Salt Lake City. Morning newspapers have carried Kent's story of the rock slide. And while railroad officials and government men search desperately for clues, Kent himself walked briskly toward the great central station for a conference with the division superintendent. But meanwhile, the plot moves on. In a secret hiding place overlooking the railroad yard, the man called the Wolf talks with his subordinate, Kino. Listen. So, very fine. At last, the unbelieving fools begin to take me seriously. You have read the stories, Kino? I read them. Well, why so sudden? Well, I don't understand it. I tell you, that track was blocked for a hundred feet, and yet five minutes later, the Continental went right on through. Next time, my friend, please to observe more accurately. Obviously, the track was not blocked for a hundred feet. It was not blocked at all. But I tell you, it was. You should join forces with the conductor of the train. He swears that a tremendous figure in blue tights and a red cape appeared from nowhere, replaced the missing rails, cleared away 20 tons of rock, and made a safe passage for the train, all in a matter of minutes. Oh, yes, yes. And uh, <clears throat> he is now confined to the city hospital, that conductor, for observation. Yeah. Well, I tell you, I've seen the same thing myself. That will do, my friend. We have no time for pipe dreams. You were deceived by shadows. Now listen, there's work to do. I'm listening. I note that this story is signed by that newspaper man, Clark Kent, the one who was on the train. Well, I told you about him. I should like to be better informed. That fellow seems to know a great deal. How he knows, I have no idea. But he does. Also, I have checked up on him. He was assigned to cover the story back east. It seems to have arrived out here incredibly soon. Must have flown. Undoubtedly. That's neither here nor there. Do you know where he is now? I did what you told me. I trailed him. He left his hotel to go see the divisional superintendent of the railroad. Did he? How lucky. Lucky? We'll kill two birds with one stone. We've got them on the run. <laughs> They're worried, Kino, and frightened. I hope you're right. They don't know which way to turn or what to believe. They'd like to keep the silver clipper in Denver tonight, but they don't dare. They don't dare, Kino. They can't admit their terror. And wait till they get my telegram. Telegram? Can you dress up like a messenger, Kino? Huh? Uniform and so on? Oh, sure. Excellent, excellent. You will put on your fake uniform and take this wire, also fake, to the superintendent. Now? At once. If you have luck, you'll find him with Mr. Clark Kent. You will also find, I think, that he is trying to locate a missing engine, Kino. Missing engine? Just so. If he finds it, I'll eat it. Huh? Uh, never mind. Get your uniform on, Kino. Deliver the telegram personally. And bring back as much of the conversation as you can. You understand? Now, now where's that conductor's story? Quite the funniest greeting I've seen this week. A superman, huh? <laughs> A beer out of the night. Where, where? Hello? There's the superintendent speaking. What? Well, trace it again. Trace it from both ends of the line. Ah, oh, nuts. Don't tell me you can't find it. Do you think a locomotive and tender could vanish in the thin air? Check every station master and call me back. I'm sorry, Mr. Kent. Oh, that's, that's quite all right. Stupid idiots. Look here. We sent a spare engine and tender down the line last night, and now they can't tell me where it is. What? On the main line? Certainly. Then uh, never mind. Let's get back to this business, the Continental. Any more news of that conductor? No, not so far. Poor fellow's out of his mind. Mm. Didn't you suppose?
lousy bloody saw. All that business about a Superman. Yes, I only wish to heaven they'd never printed it. Well, I didn't report that, believe me. No, I know. And now look here, Kent. I've checked with your paper back east, and they tell me that it's all right, that you're here to do what you can. Now, what do you want to know? Well, first of all, have you any idea what's back of this trouble on the railroads? Not the slightest. If you ask me, there's a lunatic at large. Well, don't you believe it. Well, what else can I believe? It's too senseless, utterly mad. You had warnings. Yes, which we ignored. And we get them all the time from pranks and nuts. But these warnings came true. So what of it? You still think they came from cranks and nuts? All right, Kent. What do you think? I think that one man or a group of men is trying to paralyze the country with fear. Yes, but why? I'm afraid we'll find that out later. Unless we can stop them. Good Lord, we've got to stop them. This can't go on, Kent. And we'll do what we can. What do you suggest? I suggest that you don't let the Silver Clipper leave Denver tonight. Oh, Kent, she's got to leave. Can you imagine what reaction would be if she didn't? You're taking a chance. Yeah, we can't help that. She's got to go. Well, then we must work fast. We only have until this evening. I have one more idea. Yes, what is it? Well, if you read my story carefully, you'll see that I imply I know more than I print. Yes, I did notice that. Well, do you? Not yet, but I expect to. How? The people back of this, particularly the man called the Wolf, will want to know just what I do know and where I got it. Well? I propose to show myself around until he catches up with me. Will he? I think so. I was shadowed this morning on my way here. Good Lord. You were? So I think he and his friends are just waiting their chance. I'm going to give it to them. Oh, Kent, don't do it. Why, if they'd wreck a train where well, they wouldn't think twice about it. About putting me out of the way? Yes. Don't worry. But why? What's the idea? While they're finding out how much I know, I may be finding out one or two little items about them. And I only hope... Here. How long have you been standing there, messenger? Oh, I just come, boss. You the divisional superintendent? Uh, telegram? Yes, sir. Uh, for you personally. They told me to bring it right in. I seen the door was open, yeah, so I, I hope they found that engine. Well? That's all, messenger. You can get up. Uh, yes, sir. No, wait. Hey, where'd you get this wire? Huh? Well, the, the office gave it to me. Said to bring it right over. All right, all right. Go on. Close the door behind you. Hey, Kent, listen to this. Yes? Where an engine is now, a train will be tomorrow. The silver clipper will vanish like smoke, never to be seen by the eyes of living men. Well, well, sounds like black magic. I don't believe it. Why, well, they'd never dare. Oh, they dare, all right. Is that telegram signed? Uh, yes. Yeah. It's signed the wolf. The wolf? Look here, Mr. Superintendent. Yes? That settles it. Have that wire checked. Find out who sent it and when and from where, if you can. My guess is you'll discover it's faked. I wish we'd held that messenger. Kent, what are you going to do? Just what I said I'd do. Put myself in the hands of the wolf and see who wins. Superintendent speaking. What? What? Why, look here, that's not possible. It can't be. Man alive, think what you're saying. Now, look here, you tell that rude report here in my office. That's right at once. I got this, I bet I'll find out something. Anything new? Why, it's the silliest thing I ever heard. Wait, a telegram. Where an engine is now. I don't believe it. I don't believe it for a minute. What is it? Kent, that locomotive intended. It passed through Kingston at 11.15. Yes. And it passed through Richville at 11.50. Well? It should have reached Lewisburg at 12.20, just 30 minutes later. And it didn't? It wasn't on time? On time? I had never got there at all. Well, that's easy. It left the rail somewhere in between. Yes, you'd think so. But listen to this. A crew left Richville and a crew left Lewisburg. They met somewhere in between just now in broad daylight. And neither crew had seen a sign of that engine anywhere. That's not possible. No. No, it isn't. It isn't. Black magic. Isn't that what you call it, Kent? I think I'm going mad like that conductor. Well, what are you going to do? Do? I'm going out to hunt wolves. Anybody looking? No. Quick. Out of these clothes. Now, that window. Goodbye to Clark Kent temporarily. It's Superman's turn now to find out where those devils are hiding and to listen while they tell me what they know. Up, up, over the yards. Circle around a bit. Ha! Ah, there goes that messenger. Watch him, watch him. I land on that roof. 
Look down into the street. There he goes. A messenger. To that house with the broken railing. Now then, I think I'll become Clark Kent again. Respectable representative of the Daily Planet. I'll just walk casually down that street and see what happens. Down we go. So, he thinks he'll find out one or two little items about us, huh? You know? Yeah, that's what he said before they saw me standing there. I think I should like to question that young man on various angles of the so interesting story that you wrote for this morning's paper. What are you doing by the window? Hey, hey, down there, down there in the street, look. Huh? What is it? It's him, walking right up to the house. What? That? Is that Clark Kent? How did he know where to find me? Who told him? I don't know. Hey, don't look at me like How that. How did he know which way to take to get here? He's searching me, boss. He knows too much. How does he know? Quick, kid, downstairs. Hey, boss, what are you going to do with him? There's a vault below us, you know. Steel lined and soundproof with various devices to bring out information. You're going to take them there? For a time. For a little conversation, my friend. Stop, stop. It's the people. Is he coming? Here, yeah, right this way. Hey, wait a minute. Is anyone else in the alley? No, it's empty. Yeah, here he comes. We'll jump out and grab him. All right, be ready with your blackjack. Now. Hey, where are you going? Quick, quick, you know, let him have it. Here, what hey, have we got here? Hey, the... Come on, jump, boss. Inside, inside with him, quick. Come on, you. No hanging back. <laughs> Good work, you know. Good work down the iron stairway. Quick, quick. Someone may have heard us. Uh, he's trying to hang back out. Fix it. There we are. We shove him inside. Now, close the door. Now then, Mr. Clark Kent, the time has come for a little talk. Kino, my friend, you may prepare the aids to conversation. Clark Kent in the power of the wolf. Or is the wolf all unknowing? in the power of Superman. And meanwhile, where is the missing engine? Excitement, thrills, suspense. Tune in and follow the story. And remember, be with us again for the next thrilling installment of Superman. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Action Comics magazine. So that was Superman Story 4 from 1940. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We'll have another video coming out real soon.